Hello everyone, thanks for joining us. My name is Ismail Shitu. This article discusses the key considerations for banks as they gear up to the proposed banking sector recapitalization program. On 28th of March 2024, the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, in line with Section 9, Subsection 1 of the Banking and Other Financial Institutions Act of 2020, released a circular on the review of the minimum capital requirements for commercial, merchant, and non-interest banks in Nigeria. According to the CBN, the broad objective of the current recapitalization program is to engender the emergence of a stronger, healthier, and more resilient banks to support the achievement of a $1 trillion economy by the year 2030. There are various options that the banks may consider to meet the minimum capital requirements set by the CBN. This includes 1. Additional equity capital injection, either through private placements, rights issues, and or offer for subscription. 2. Mergers and acquisition. And finally, the banks may decide to upgrade or downgrade their license authorizations to meet the capital requirement. To ensure a successful recapitalization and long-term stability, here are critical strategic recommendations and next step for banks affected by the program. 1. Strategic assessment. Banks should thoroughly assess their capital shortfall, risk tolerance, and strategic objectives to guide the selection of the most suitable recapitalization option. 2. Financial assessment. Conduct a comprehensive financial assessment to determine the viability of each option, including the cost of capital, impacts of potential dilution, and transaction fee. 3. Investor targeting. If considering private placements or offers for subscription, identify potential investors with a strong fit for the bank's long-term goals. 4. Transparency and communication. Maintain transparent communication with relevant stakeholders throughout the recapitalization process. 5. Professional advice. Engage qualified financial, tax, and legal advisors to ensure regulatory compliance, manage due diligence risk, create optimal destructions, and eventually achieve business integrations and synergies. And lastly, advocacy and engagement of the CBN. Banks should have a clear action plan on how to engage the CBN on certain contentious matters such as inclusion or inclusion of bonus shares, other reserves, and additional tier 1 capital in meeting the new capital requirements. To read more on our articles, please visit our website and subscribe using the button below. Thank you.